Traditionally in the Fens, poachers used ferrets to chase rabbits out of their burrows to provide food for their families. The punishment, if they were caught, was rather harsh. Deportation and even death. But these days, rabbits have become such pests that landowners are desperate for them to be cleared from their land. So, poacher Darren Gallagher, turned gamekeeper, now uses his traditional skills to work alongside local farmers ridding their land of rabbits. You're an actual ex-poacher who's sort of been Allegedly. fine and everything like that, so uh, you can tell us all about it, as it were, from the horse's mouth. Uh, when we were kids, we used to catch the bus outside here. Yeah. Going to so King's Lynn and... Get on the bus with a dog and a, yeah. a ferret and a net. Yeah, dirty sm come back with a dirty smelly sack and dirty dogs and dirty ferrets and... Yeah. They still let out. you on the bus? Back then they did, yeah. yeah. We've used the skills we learnt from old to put it into our living. Yeah. Well, you're not telling me those pink rabbit nets were learned from old. Well, I thought I was coming out, you know, to see some kind of butch hunters. You're making these nets out of pink. Well, rabbits are colour blind and they can't see. We can see them better in the grass. But All right. truth be known, we wanted to see if you really had a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try You're and get you to make, make me one look in effeminate on television, aren't you? <laughs> we won't be the first ones, will we? <laughs> no, <that's true. laughs> done it to myself many times. Well, should we go and have a go? Let's have a go. Darren's a dab hand at tracking down rabbits, and today he's been asked by the owner of this farm to tackle her bunnies. What have we got there? The dog marking that there's rabbits at home. Right. So this is some of the damage done by the rabbits here, is it? Yeah, look here as well, look. They're coming off here. Yeah. Don't know if you can see this. Yeah, it's an obvious run, isn't coming it? Coming off here, so there's every chance there's a warren there. Yeah. Coming into the wheat, which is behind us. And here. The wheat's here, look. And uh, eating away the crops. Because rabbits breed like, um, well, rabbits, Darren's got a tough job on his hands. It's estimated that over three years, a fluffy little female bunny can produce up to 51,000 descendants. Darren, mate, you've got your work cut out. Bring on the ferrets. Both nice and friendly. Oh, <laughs> put that on. Do they like doing what they do? They love it, it's what they're bred for. Yeah. You know, descendants of the polecat. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hello, matey. Darren's ferrets are working animals, trained to root out rabbits and chase them out of their burrows. And the dogs are on hand to see if the rabbits are at home. First job, find the holes. It's kind of obviously oh. rabbity. Yep, very, as you can see. The dog's marking as well, so something's at home. So we'll yeah. net this up. What we'll do is we'll check it for the holes, check for bolt holes, which is there's normally one or two in a warren, little tiny hidden holes in the grass. Yeah, which is what, escape runs? Yeah, you miss them, and that's always the ones the rabbits come out yeah. of. So always. you put all your nets on the big you know, holes and they suddenly yeah. pop out somewhere else. Always, yeah. I mean, he likes that one. He's saying yeah. there's rabbits in here. Rabbit warrens can stretch underground for hundreds of metres, and the last thing Darren wants is for his prized ferrets to get lost in one. Check the collars, make sure they're working. So what are these? They're just located collars. He doesn't mind wearing that. No, he no. doesn't mind at all. How far do they go down? This locates to 16 foot. Yeah. Let the hunt begin. It's quite exciting. It's waiting. <laughs> There might be nothing to see, but there's definitely something going on underground. I can actually hear something happening. I can hear some scrabbling about in these holes. Where? Here. Somewhere between them two holes, yeah? Yeah. You can hear it. Oh, I mean, the ferret's got hold of something. The ferret's probably caught up with the rabbit before it had a chance to come out. It's saying it's... We've got both ferrets here. Somewhere, that's saying 12 foot. <laughs> 12, 
12 foot down? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Right, uh, you start digging, I'll make some tea. Get them nettles out of my face. Now we're digging for ferrets. Oh, hold on. Hmm, false alarm. No, nothing there. Not quite what Darren had in mind. No longer the ferrets hunting the rabbits, it's us hunting the ferrets. What do you reckon? Oh, hello. How does the ferret come out? Come out of that hole there. Shall I reset this? Yeah, please. It's gone. One out, but still one down. Back to the digging. And success. Just look. Turn that off. Yeah, look. Rabbit fur on her claws, look. Right. Yeah, she's there. Tugged it out. See the fur there, look, hanging off the end of her feet. Yeah. So the bunny got away, minus a little bit of fluff. And our ferrets? Oh, they had a good day out. What about Darren? When it goes right, it's fantastic. When it goes wrong, it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> now, speak for yourself. I've rather enjoyed it, even if we didn't catch a rabbit. <laughs>